Hi everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. When I was at Origins 2015, I was walking around and I saw the booth for Wormwood. And I had heard about them before but hadn't seen their products in person and was intrigued, so I stopped and got a demo and really walked away impressed. So when they contacted me to do a preview for their Kickstarter, which is happening right now at the time of this recording, I agreed because I felt this was a premium product. In fact, even the packaging I was impressed by. Let's take a look. As you can see, the contents of the box are snugly packed, and this is how you would receive things if you back the product on Kickstarter. This travels from the US to Canada, and uh, everything appears to be in good condition. But let me remove the packaging and we'll take a closer look and see. In 2013, Wormwood launched the highly successful Kickstarter for their Dice Vault system. These are finely crafted cases that come in a variety of different wood types that you can choose from. You'll notice, as I tip this upside down and give it a shake, the lid isn't coming off, and that's because the lid is secured by magnets, which, as I lift up, come apart. The lid also has this foam here to protect your dice, and there's foam underneath as well that these dice are resting in. And just to give you a sense, again, of how secure this is, listen as I snap the top on. Right? So those are powerful magnets, but not so powerful that it's difficult to pull the lid off when you want to. And these dice are not included with the vault, but they can be as an optional add-on if you'd like. And they hold up to 10 standard-sized dice. The optional dice add-ons come in a variety of other colors and styles than just what you see here. They can also hold up to 52 of the mini D6s or 8 casino-sized dice. With their new Kickstarter, you can still get the Dice Vaults separately or as part of their Dice Tower system. And this also includes a dice tray. Let's take a closer look. If we look underneath of the dice tray, we're going to find rubberized feet. And not only will these help keep the tray in place, but they also protect the top of your table surface when you're using this system. The inside of the tray is lined with stone oiled leather, which provides lots of room for rolling your dice into. No more dice scattering and landing on the floor. This tray is also something you can order separately or as part of the full dice vault system, which is why the tray comes pre-cut with a notch in the wall here, where the dice tower will fit in perfectly, ensuring fair rolls every single time. Got a bunch of dice to roll? No problem. This tower has tons of capacity. Seriously, there's loads of room here. And again, because the tray is a nice size, it's easy to get in, collect the dice out of it that you want, or just go in and scoop out whole bunches of dice at once. You can choose to order the tower on its own, in which case it'll come in a box like this. And then you can use the box as a dice tray. Again, pouring your dice into it. So we've got fine craftsmanship in a variety of different wood types. We clearly have functionality, but that's not all. What about transporting and storing it? Well, we've also got portability. The dice tower is held together with rare earth magnets. So that means it stays together when you're using it, but when you want to take it apart, you just pull the pieces out. <laughs> I know for me, this was really the, the wow moment because the pieces all fit perfectly alongside the vault inside of the dice tray. And they come apart really, really easily and go together like so. It was hard not to be impressed seeing how sturdy all the individual elements were and yet how easily they all came apart to be stored like this. Now you might be thinking, all right Rodney, that's pretty slick. But how am I supposed to remember how to put this dice tower back together again? Well don't worry, Wormwood has you covered there as well. On the inside of this panel you're going to find numbers etched into it. And then those numbers match ones etched into each individual panel. So this one says one, there's a one here, we match the one to the one, and that's where it goes. Likewise, we have a two here, and a two here. Boom, there's a three, there's a three, and you'll notice as it's going together, they're clacking securely into place. You just keep following the numbers. And there, that one's in place. We have the five, it goes here, and then the final piece snaps on top, and you've got 
your completed dice tower. Now, as I mentioned, you can buy the individual elements separately or together as a complete dice tower system. And when you do that, you also receive this leather strap, which you can wrap around it once it's all packed down, and then snap to keep everything snug and together. The Kickstarter is really about unlocking 70 different types of woods to be able to offer to backers and future customers. The fundraiser has smashed all of its goals at the time of this recording. The company has successfully delivered on previous projects. And so I'm more than confident as I take up your time to share this with you, that if you decide to back, you'll be very pleased with the final product that you receive. The entire system can be backed for as low as $150. And if you want some of the more expensive woods, then that costs more. Keep in mind, this is not a mass market product. This is fine craftsmanship, and so you're gonna pay for that. But if you like what you see here, if you wanna check out some of the other wood types, some of the other products that they offer, I'll put links to their website and to their Kickstarter page, so you can check it out if you're interested. But until the next episode, thanks for watching.